Hey there, how's it going? So in this video, I'm just going to go over the different options that you can adjust on the Robotank Auto Top Off system. Um, first, I'm going to go over the different jumpers we have here for the three ports, sensor ports. And they, uh, when I made this, I wanted it to work with as many uh, sensors as there are. Um, basically, any analog sensor out there. But unfortunately, all these different sensors, like uh, the optical, the non-contact, they have uh, different resistor requirements, etc. So, in order to have it work with as many uh, sensors as possible, I had to put some jumpers. So, these jumpers, you just set them uh, for the port you want when you first set up the controller or the ATO. And uh, if you order the sensors from me, I will preset this. Of course, if it's a DIY kit, you have to set them, but the instructions are there, it's easy to do. Um, one thing to know though that's very important and it's clearly marked in the manual these optical sensors they uh, have to have this jumper right here and this jumper that's for these two opticals they have to be in the top position if they aren't this will be permanently damaged uh, there's a pesky little resistor that's in line and if it's not in line then yeah they're shot so make sure before you plug in an optical sensor um, that those jumpers are correct. Uh, so yeah, so that's those jumpers. Now we'll go to uh, the setup mode. So you can see our three push buttons here, and then we've got an LED there, it's multicolored, and then we've got our little button here. That's our push button on the outside. So it basically works off button one, and that's it there. I don't know if you can see that, but it just goes in, and then the lid goes on top, and you can see there's a little stop there so you can basically push that button as hard as you want and it won't hurt the button or nothing um, yeah it's it's pretty good um, okay so button one right now we're not in setup mode because this light is off so if we push and hold button one we get our maintenance mode push and hold one beep two beeps now we're in our test mode solid light Push and hold one beep, two beeps. Now we wait for it. It's a 10 second hold. You gotta push it for. And there we go, release. Now it just reset all the default settings that the, the ATO shipped with. So those are your three. Oh, and a momentary, that resets your alarm. Now if we push button three and hold it, we get our setup mode. This comes on. Now button one will not turn on our test mode or maintenance mode. Instead, it'll change the uh, setting for the current option that we're looking at. Uh, in the manual, we've got this sheet, page 14. And if you print this out and keep it with the ATO, you'll be good. It uh, has all the different options that are available and how to navigate. So, like I said, button one will change the current setting button two will recall the current setting so press it we had one beep so what is that so we come to our list here sensor or option one is sensor three function one beep is monitor the reservoir okay let's change it push button one push this to see well we get two beeps so now it's set to third ato sensor so that's how you change the setting just change it you can verify okay you're happy go to the next one so now we have another one here alarm volume so we've got seven different options 10% to 100% so with this one you can hear the actual volume change some of them don't sound so great but so that's 10% 20 30 40 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we are set at 100% Next one, we've got our alarm delay, option three. So we've got zero to 60, and that one's blue, an aqua. One, so we are, I want to do that button actually. So now it's gonna beep 11 times. Default is 10 minutes, but we have 11, because I pushed this. So 12, 13, 14, and if we push that again, it'll beep 14 times. Now what happens if we only want two minutes, but there's 60 minutes in this, so we gotta push this a lot of times. Well, if you actually push and hold button one, it'll beep, now it dropped to the bottom of the list. 
so it'll always go to the top here and well down here you can actually see what it goes to so 10% 0 minutes 3 3 and that's the bottom of the list so now if we push button 2 you can see nothing because we're at 0 seconds or 0 minutes Four, four minutes. Okay, next, pump voltage. So you go there, we can see it's red. Then up here it says red. Um, these are actually the color. The option is the color, but I got a black and white printer, so you can't see that. But So pump voltage, let's see what we have. Six, 12 volts. Okay, so you can see it goes by voltage. Now one thing to know about the pump voltage is that's based on the input voltage so right here um, the typically you use a 12 volt pump so a 12 volt supply but if you use 24 volts these voltages will not be what they say they are um, 6 volts for instance will be 12 volts or thereabout and so yeah so make sure if you have 24 volts in you uh, check the voltage using a uh, voltmeter so that your pump will be okay and also don't adjust this unless you you know for sure your pump can take multiple voltage, voltages. <laughs> if it says uh, 6 to 12 volts, you'll be okay to set it to 6 volts. But uh, if it just says 12 volts, just leave it at 12 volts. Otherwise, it could be damaged. It might still run, but it could be damaged. So uh, Then we got sensor 1, sensitivity level. Low, medium, and high. Three options. So let's go to the next one. And there we go there. Now we should be in high. Three beeps, three beeps. I already knew where it was, so. One beep, one beep, so now we're in low sensitivity. Next, we have start delay in seconds. One beep for every second. So this start delay is when the ATO actually kicks on. Um, that means the sensor uh, one must uh, sense water or not sense water for a consecutive uh, five seconds, so. And you can adjust that up to 60, and then you can verify what it is by counting out the beeps. And when you're happy, you can go to the next one. So next one, we have auto-calculate maximum runtime. So we can see that's on right now. So this will, just like it says, it'll auto-calculate the max runtime. Now, if, like I was saying in another video, if you don't use this bracket, um, because the auto calculate is uh, specific to a bracket that has the sensors uh, spaced out to four millimeters. Um, if your sensors were like 10 millimeters apart, then the auto uh, timeout will kick in before it hits your backup sensor. So if that was the case, then you would come in here and you would turn your auto calculate max time off. Make sure two beeps, two beeps, we're off. Then we have option 8 and 9. These are only applicable if this is turned off. And when it's off, it'll use these two settings to uh, set the max time. So let's say you had this at one minute and this you had at 10 seconds. So the max run time will be one minute and 10 seconds. So you can come in here, push this, it should be five beeps. Or I gotta change it, there we go. <laughs> And then we can just adjust it to whatever we want, up to 10 minutes. Ten. And now if we do one more, now it should be zero. And we push it and we have nothing. So those are all our settings. Um, hope that made sense. Hope you liked it. If you uh, do like it, please share on uh, YouTube, Facebook, wherever um small company and i really appreciate all the support i can get so yeah thanks for watching have a great day talk to you later bye